The 747's landing gear has a hidden party trick. Its bogies can pivot up to 13 degrees while rolling, stopping the tyres from scrubbing sideways on sharp turns. Why does this matter? Because the 747's main gear supports over 180 tonnes at maximum landing weight, spread across 18 wheels. When a giant like this turns on a tight taxiway, the tyres do not naturally follow a perfect arc. They want to drag sideways. Without a solution, you would shred rubber and stress the structure. Boeing engineered the main landing gear bogies, that is, the four-wheel trucks mounted to each strut, to pivot slightly. Hydraulic actuators allow each bogey to yaw up to 13 degrees, keeping the wheels aligned with the direction of travel. Instead of scrubbing, the tyres roll smoothly through a turn, preserving rubber and protecting the gear. The difference is huge. On a sharp taxiway bend, the pivot saves tons of stress per turn. It also makes handling this 70 metre long aircraft more practical at airports, not originally built for such giants. Essentially, Boeing designed the gear to think for itself, letting the 747 glide through corners that would otherwise chew up tyres. This clever detail was part of what made the 747 not just big, but operationally viable. Today you will find similar pivot logic on other wide bodies, but the Queen of the Skies did it first, proving that sometimes the smartest engineering is hidden where few passengers ever look. So here's the debate. Is the 747's bogey pivot the ultimate example of over-engineering genius, or just a clever fix for a design too big for its own good?